The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code ClickWid at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? ClickWid here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 18 budget series episode. And today, guys, we are taking a look at the cornerback position. Definitely one of the most important positions in Madden. Also one of the more expensive ones. So I'm going to help you guys try and save some coins today by providing you guys with a few guys that are a little bit cheaper than some of the more expensive ones, but guys that'll still do a pretty good job for you to start your team this year. So let's hop right into it, guys. The first one that we're going to be taking a look at here is a comparison between a 78 overall Bryce Callahan gold card. And we are going to be comparing him to an 88 overall elite Casey Hayward. Now, Casey Hayward obviously is going to be the better card. This card's going for 170,000 coins. And the Bryce Callahan is only going for 2,500. But I call this a card that can give you cheap speed at your cornerback position. Bryce Callahan is actually 87 speed with 87 acceleration. He also actually has 88 jumping. So he kind of actually blows Casey Hayward out of the water in those three attributes. Like it's not even really close. Then beyond that, of course, Katie, Casey Hayward takes over and pretty much dominates in everything from that point point on. But I think the bottom line here, guys, is if you're somebody who likes to, let's say, send a cornerback blitz, or if you're somebody who uses a lot of man coverage and you tend to want your guys to be able to just keep up with the with the wide receiver, you don't necessarily need them to be amazing in coverage. They just have to be able to not get burned deep. I think that's one of the things that Bryce Callahan can actually do quite well for you. And that's why I really recommend this one as kind of a depth cornerback card. It's not necessarily one that you are going to have to, that you're going to want to have as like your top two corners, but it's certainly one that you could use as a, a card deep down your roster as like your third, your fourth, your fifth cornerback in uh, dime situations, quarter situations, things like that. And it's just a guy that can go out there and do a decent job for you. And like I said, he can also blitz the quarterback, which is a nice thing to have as well. So now let's move on to the second grouping of cornerbacks. On the left, we have Anthony Brown of the Dallas Cowboys, 81 overall. We're going to be comparing him to an 85 overall Jalen Ramsey of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, again, I'm not trying to say that the card on the left is, is better by any means, but it's certainly cheaper, and it's a card that I think you could certainly get away with in a lot of situations. Uh, again, 9,000 coins is very, very cheap, so you can try them out, see if you like them. If you don't, you're really not losing much. The reason I really like this card is because I consider it to kind of be a really strong press man cornerback. Now, again, he's not necessarily better than Jalen Ramsey at that, but he does have good attributes for an 81 overall card. The, first of all, his speed and acceleration are both really good. He actually has better speed than Jalen Ramsey at an 88. His acceleration is also an 85, which is quite quick. He does also have 80 for a press, which is very, very good for an 80 overall card. And he also has some other really nice attributes like his man coverage being a 79, which at this point in the game is actually pretty good, to be honest with you. It's not elite by any means, but uh, it's certainly a good enough attribute that he can keep up with most guys if you ask Add in the speed and the acceleration and things like that but the big one to me is that he is able to press and if you guys have played a lot this year you've seen that pressing is actually quite effective this year so certainly something to take a look at I would highly recommend taking a look at this Anthony Brown card again it's only 9,000 coins and you're comparing him to a Jalen Ramsey that goes for 70,000 again not trying to say that he's necessarily better than Jalen Ramsey but he does he does do a pretty good job of coming close in quite a lot of the attributes his awareness is only a little bit lower his play racks only a little bit lower again press is only a little lower man coverage better in speed very close in acceleration I mean and he's actually better in catching so again there are a lot of things that you could certainly say that this card is is quite good in and for 9,000 coins I certainly think it's worth taking a shot on so try him out again as maybe like your nickel corner or something like that before you move him up to being your number two or your number one corner but I think he can do a pretty good job for most teams so let's move on to our final comparison and on the left, we have the most expensive card in today's episode as far as the budgets go. And this one is the Robert Alford card. It's an 82 overall. This one has actually been fluctuating quite a bit because I think people are starting to catch on that this is a really, really good card. And we're going to be comparing it to an 87 overall Josh Norman, which is going for 120,000 coins right now. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is that Robert Alford is way faster and I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but speed for my cornerback is maybe the most important thing. 
I mean, seriously, I think it's extraordinarily important at cornerback, maybe more so than any other position on the field. And Josh Norman has 82 speed with 83 acceleration. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Josh Norman's better in zone coverage. Fair enough, but still... I want a cornerback that can play man from time to time and not get completely toasted. I want a cornerback that can go out there and play a cover three and drop into the deep zone without necessarily having to just completely worry about him, move him back and, and make sure that he's not pressing. I mean, look at Josh Norman's attributes. You would think with an 86 press that you would want to press him. But if you're in man coverage and you leave him in man on man, even with that 86 press, he's going to get roasted by anybody with decent speed in this game at wide receiver. So that's one thing that I would be very cautious of with Josh Norman. And again, with your Robert Alford, I don't think you necessarily have to worry about that. Sure, he doesn't have the amazing press attribute. He's only got a 74, but he does have 87 speed and 86 acceleration. A lot, or excuse me, 87 acceleration and 88 jumping. So, I mean, he can certainly make the plays, and I, I definitely think this is one of the more underrated cornerback cards right now as far as, like, the actual attributes go. I think people, a lot of people are sleeping on it, although, like I said, there are also a lot of people, I think, that are starting to come around that this is a very, very nice card and are trying it out on their team. I think this one is good enough to use as your number two corner on your team. I would still recommend that you go a little more expensive than these on your cornerback number one. But if you're first starting off and you're just building your team, or if you're doing a salary cap squad or something like that, and you don't want to spend a lot on your cornerback position, I would really highly recommend that you take a look at Robert Alford. He is very, very good. So there you have it, guys. That is the budget episode for the cornerback position. I want to hear from you guys. Do you have any other cornerbacks that you highly recommend that are cheap? relatively cheap anyway something in this video we kept it under 15,000 coins but for any other price point like let's say you wanted to go up just a little bit more than that do you guys have any ones that you recommend or anybody that's like a silver card or anything like that let us know in the comment section below I know a lot of people are definitely looking for some super cheap cards and maybe some other guys that can help them out on like their salary cap squats and things like that so there you have it guys thanks again hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you guys again soon.